Hi there, a new version of Oxygen OS is here for me at all devices. The one that I'm using here is a Redmi Note 9 Pro Indian variant also known as Redmi Note 9 S in international market. And it also can be used on Redmi Note 9 Pro Global variant, Redmi Note 9 Pro Max, Poco M2 Pro and Redmi Note 10 Lite. Of course, it's not an official Oxygen OS, it's a port by Henlo Boy who has been porting Oxygen OS for these devices for quite some time. It has been ported from a OnePlus 70 and it's the only Oxygen OS 12.1 port for me at all available so far. You can check out my other videos on custom ROMs, I've compiled a playlist of the same and left a link in description. If you like my content, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Okay, so let's explore the Oxygen OS 12.1. First things first, this port is based on Android 12 and comes with December 2022 security patch. It's got nice star kernel built in but the maintainer recommends using Positron kernel if you face random reboots which I did only once but I did so I flashed the Positron kernel. Inside system settings, the option to RAM boost has been provided but you can't tell whether it's working or not cause it doesn't reflect anywhere. Three finger screenshot gestures are working fine, you can take partial and regular screenshot using gestures, you can take scrolling screenshot using gestures and it's super cool. Screen recording feature is also provided and works perfectly. Screen of gestures setting is present but no wonder these don't work. In the special features section you get shelf, it's like Xiaomi's app vault and comes with an array of exclusive widgets and you can add third party widgets here as well. Work life balance features is here, scout feature is here, scout is an advanced search feature for oneplus devices that provides you an in-depth search across apps. For instance, you can do simple calculations, find, find contacts or files on your phone using this feature. Inside app settings, you get an app cloner which lets you clone an app as the name suggests. The battery backup is not very good nor bad. Comparing to the stock MIUI, it's worse but you do not flash Oxygen OS on a Xiaomi thinking that the battery performance will improve, right? However, it's not very bad either. Even when your phone is idle for like an hour, it consumes about 4-5% to battery even when no heavy apps is installed or running or any heavy task is running. However, it charges pretty quickly. It took only 1 hour from 4% to 89%. But remember that, like previous builds, this one also has a broken charging indicator. There'll be no charging animation and no charging indicator at all. Inside privacy settings, you get app lock, hide apps and private safe features. But unfortunately, these features do not work. Fingerprint unlock works perfectly fine, but face unlock does not work. Not a big of an issue there cause Android face unlock is crap anyways. You can customize notifications and status bar inside notification and status bar settings. You can select the signature oneplus loop battery style here. You can enable network speed to display in your status bar and enable or disable notification icons on it. There's a new oneplus ringtone now available that's called oneplus new feeling. Take a listen. Haptics and all other sounds are working fine. Inside display and brightness settings, you get features like video color enhancer and eye comfort mode which reduces blue light to make it comfortable for you to read or basically use your phone at night. In the screen display setting, you get an option to hide the front camera and enable or disable full screen display. Inside home screen and lock screen settings, you get many options to customize your home screen or lock screen, including an icon pull down gesture which, which is my favorite and it lets you access any app on your home screen without stretching your thumb or switch hands. Here in personalization section, you can select a wallpaper, a theme, you can download the themes from the theme store and then you can change icons here. You can choose whether to show app labels and when art icons are enabled, you can even change the icon roundness as well. Needless to say, you can change icon shape. You can pick a pre-installed icon pack all thanks to ColorOS. Well, that's not it. You can personalize the quick settings panel as well. You can choose an accent color and select font and display size. Internet, Wi-Fi, etc. are working flawlessly, but if you are a Redmi Note 9 Pro Joyous user, you will be disappointed to know that NFC doesn't work. Other connectivities such as nearby share and portable hotspot work well too. The brightness on this build is very powerful, I must say. Even at 15%, at it seems like it's maximum already. 
overall the rom feels smooth i didn't face jitters or lags especially after flashing the positron kernel if you like to spend your free time watching my videos on youtube this rom will disappoint you youtube app keeps crashing so you will have to watch youtube in browser if you're a heavy gamer don't think about installing this gpay comes as a built-in app and by default you can use banking apps like gpay without any issue you get oxygen os dialer and messages app along with other system apps such as calculator voice recorder etc you won't find any camera app with this build so you'll have to either install a gcam port or you can get oxygen os camera app from my previously posted video now i'd like to show you the results of some performance tests that i took here's what it scored on geekbench 6.0 it got 734 points in single core test and 1683 in multi core test in CPU throttling test, it did quite okay with a maximum performance of 169,436 GIPS and a minimum of 150,459 GIPS. No thermal throttling was detected. As far as Play Protect certification is concerned, unfortunately the device fails to get certified in this build which means Google thinks that this device might not be safe if you care. If you're a regular user, you won't have much of a trouble using it, especially if you like the UI of OxygenOS. But if you're a heavy user and want a battery-centric custom ROM, then this might not be your best bet, especially if you're a gamer. So that was my review. Hope you liked the video. So make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. See you in my next video.